The story of 15-year-old Amanda Todd has sparked a wave of grief and anger that goes well beyond her own community at her Coquitlam Alternative School, a bouquet of flowers. On the internet, countless tribute videos to the local team that were posted from as far away as England. I watched the video and I was honestly, I was heartbroken about what I saw. Last month, Amanda Todd posted this video about her troubles after an embarrassing photo of her exposing herself was posted online. She moved schools to escape the taunting, but in the end, it proved to be too much. She committed suicide in her Port Coquitlam home at around supper time Wednesday. Now the RCMP are investigating. It's a priority. Uh, it's important. Uh, uh, not only for the police to find out, but it's important for the community to know. It's important for Amanda's family to know, was, can, is anybody to be held accountable for, for her taking this step? Was there a criminal offence that may have occurred? Serious crimes investigators in both Coquitlam and Maple Ridge are now looking at the person who may have posted the photo she mentions in her video. They're also looking at students who may have taunted her. We are monitoring all forms of social media. We're looking at past uh, uh, incidents uh, on social media around this file. So certainly uh, nobody is immune. The coroner's office is also looking into Todd's death to determine if cyberbullying did indeed play a role. And if it did, is there anything that can be done about it? Our key uh, issue here is preventability. Now, we couldn't, you know, unfortunately, nobody obviously was able to prevent Amanda's death, which is very sad. But we are looking, our, our ultimate goal is to see if we can make some reasonable and practical recommendations that might prevent other future deaths in similar circumstances. Today, Amanda Todd's mom, Carol, sent out this tweet. I believe that the video should be shared as a learning tool for anti-bullying. That is what my daughter would have wanted. Over the phone, she emphasized that her daughter was not alone. She was getting a lot of support from her school, friends and family. Amanda was only alone in her mind.